Welcome to Real World AIP, the channel dedicated exclusively to helping you implement the autoimmune protocol. I'm Stacy, and tonight I'm going to be experimenting with a recipe that someone private messaged me on Instagram. <laughs> Here's the message I got. Hi Stacy, one of your number one fans here. I'm here to tell you about my discovery, AIP compliant ice cream. Creamy, fluffy, yummy, and tart. I've tried it with other fruits. This is the only fruit this happens to. Must be a chemical reaction between the bromelain and the acidic lemon juice. If you like it, spread the word. All right. First thing I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna peel this pineapple, core it, and throw it into the blender with the quarter cup of fresh lemon juice. I just juiced one big juicy lemon and it gave me a quarter cup, but you might need to use one and a half or two lemons, depending on how big they are or you know how juicy they are. Anyway, let's get this pineapple chopped up. So I'm gonna stick these chunks into my blender and um, blend that along with the lemon juice. Oh, that, look at how pretty that looks. I've had this in the freezer for about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, you want to use a dish that will maximize your surface area. And you just pour it in there. An even wider rectangular dish would be better. This is what I have room for in my freezer. Now we're going to just pop this in the freezer. And I'm going to check that every 30 to 45 minutes, I'm going to whisk it up gonna do that for about four hours so this is something you want to do on your day off <laughs> if you have an ice cream maker that's easy you just dump that mix right into the ice cream maker but I don't feel like I have a cheap ice cream maker I don't have a bunch of salt or ice cubes to do like I'm just gonna do it this way you don't need an ice cream maker oh it does have kind of a creamy texture interesting so I'm using the whisk because you want to aerate it as you do this Right, back in the freezer. All right, it's been one hour. This is my second whisking. Get it right back in there. Okay, it's been one and a half hours. Oh, it's starting to freeze on the sides. Put it back in the freezer. It's been two hours. This is whisking number four. Ooh, really starting to make a little progress here. The sides are all frozen. Get it right back in there. Two and a half hours. It's a great one to do if you're doing a big batch cook and you're gonna be in the kitchen for like three, four hours. Perfect. That back in the freezer. We're at the three hour mark. It's all frozen. Now, I'm just gonna stick this in my blender for a minute because it tastes like, um, you know, big ice particles. So I'm gonna get it nice and fluffy. Oh, any longer, I'm going to risk melting it. Ooh, this has that. Ooh, look at that texture. This really does have a fluffy, creamy texture. But of course, we gotta put it to the test. We gotta taste it. Hmm. It's 
really refreshing and good. Would I call it ice cream? No, but would I call it good? Yes. It's like a fruit ice, it's like a sorbet, but it's got a nice creamy texture. It's gonna be so amazing on a summer day. Just a nice, cool, refreshing treat. If you don't eat this right away um, and you put it in the freezer overnight or for a few days or whatever, it's going to harden and it's not going to have the same texture. So in that case, all you would have to do is just leave it sitting out at room temperature for 20 to 30 minutes before you want to eat it. Or you can put it in like a room temperature water just enough to loosen the, um, not hot water because you could crack the jar, right? But you could take the whole jar with the lid on it submerge it in like room temperature water just until this thaws enough that you can get it out of the jar and then put it back in the blender and just whiz it up and it's going to be perfect but just straight out of the jar after it's been in there a while you're going to have to do one of those two things either let it sit for 20 30 minutes or pop it back in the blender for a few seconds so there you have it there's how to make a delightful pineapple sorbet without an ice cream maker just two ingredients and no added sugar if you have an ice cream maker, this will be a lot more simple, but um, this method works for any ice cream recipe. So if you're looking through your AIP book and it says, oh, put these ingredients in your ice cream maker, stick them in a flat bowl, you know, mix it every half an hour for three to four hours. And then at the end, you know, if you want to blend it to give it that ultra creamy texture. So maybe I'll come up with some more ice cream recipes for summer. Um, coconut milk makes delicious ice cream and you can add strawberries or carob or things. I have some ideas. If you want to see more of my videos, subscribe below. I post every Thursday and I also post little clips of what I'm doing in the kitchen or what I bought at the grocery store, things like that on Lens. It's a feature of Patreon, but it's totally free to the public. You don't have to be a patron to view the clips. If you are a $2 patron, you also get an exclusive patron-only recipe once a month, but the clips are always free to the public. So let me know how you like the sorbet and I hope to see you soon. Until then, be healthy.